The International Olympic Committee have completed their final inspection in London and say the city is ready to deliver an outstanding Games. Their inspection team arrived in England on Wednesday and delivered their positive verdict before handing over to the London organisers. The world expects a lot from London, but we know that London is ready and that people will not be disappointed. Uh, there is a lot to do still, mainly refinements, mainly detail, no major issue. But uh, as we know, sometimes the details are important and they make the difference. If you are in a race, uh, these details may be the few hundred of a second which make the difference between gold, silver and bronze. Well, our London correspondent Lee Wellings was at that press conference and he says the positive IOC report was a big boost for the organisers. So absolutely emphatic approval from the International Olympic Committee for the organisation of the London Games and this last inspection before the Games start in July. That's exactly what we expected because right from when London was awarded the Games back in 2005, every inspection has been met with satisfaction and, and approval. There have been about 10 inspections now and uh, we saw earlier this week from uh, the IOC President Jack Rogg when he met the uh, Prime Minister here, David Cameron, that um, the IOC are really satisfied with what they see. But of course, not everyone uh, in terms of the UK public is satisfied in terms of the money that's been spent, around $15 billion. There are other issues like uh, the public not being able to get their hands on the tickets they want. Uh, and also a, a really thorny issue of participation. The key to London being awarded these games was legacy. People in the UK had to be fitter, had to be active. This is part of what the, the whole plan for London was about. And yet some of those targets not being met. And um, this has been conceded by the Games organisers uh, and the London uh, Committee. And that's something that not everyone in the UK is happy about. And constantly we're told that legacy and these things are difficult to measure. But when these things are put to Sebco and the organisers, what they have said emphatically themselves is that they feel that the UK public are right behind these games.